nothing can erase the feeling of death, but you can pacify it all kinds of ways. We are at the San Francisco Columbarium, which is a place of inurnment. I would say it's sad and joyful combined. You can bring life compared to your typical cemetery with your tombstone, which says one thing, you're dead. This place, that would be death and life combined instead of just plain old death. Mm -hmm. Small ones are apartments because we, when we was alive, we lived in an apartment. Bigger ones are called condos. Some of us lived in condos when we was alive. And the biggest one are called villages, and we lived in villages when we was alive. These people was me once upon a time, and I will be them in the future. That's my way of thinking, you know, towards these people, the love, the care. Uh, that's why I try to make sure the place is clean as possible. That's why I try to make sure the painting look good. And you can see for yourself. I've been here at least about 25 years. Well, my job is actually was to restore the place because it was more like abandoned in a sense with the pigeons and the raccoons and the mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. But as life went on, as time went on, I added a few more things to my job. I never thought about, okay, this is my life. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to do. I never thought like that. Actually, it just snuck up on me. Well, I do remember one moment that something felt good. A lady and a man were standing out in the parking lot crying. I looked over and I said, you know, I don't know them. That's what I did with all people when I see them crying. I don't know them. But one particular, that particular time, I decided to walk over there to them. I didn't know what I was going to say. I, you know, something was just making me do that. I took the man's hand, I took his wife's hand, and I told him I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry for their loss, but I'll make you a promise that I will take care of your loved one. And then the lady started crying more. That kind of, you know, scared me because I thought I said something wrong. And she just looked at me eye to eye, and then she say, why do you care? My answer came out automatically, even though I don't even know where it came from at that time. The first thing came out of my mouth, because I am you. We all end up at the same destination. So in my mind, that tells us we should be together while we are alive when we can do something about it. So how do you feel about death? I don't worry about it. I don't worry about things I can't control. When I pass away, my cremated body will be put in the columbarium in my mini condo. Why not be in a place where you somewhat created? A place that you dropped a lot and a lot of sweat. A place where you gave a lot of love. I do want to be here as long as I can, but when the door opens for me to go, bye-bye. With no regrets. Got your brain thinking, ain't it?